Hey, what's going on, city slickers? And all my slicker rats, ladies first. All right, I'm at storage. I told y'all uh, I have to uh, shoot to Baltimore. So I said, um, let me get some Yeezys. When I go to Baltimore, I usually don't take too much clothes, you know. And I'm not going, I'm going for like a day. I'll be back in a day. I don't know why I like to take like four or five pairs of sneakers for one day. Oh, Jesus. I forgot all oh, like this. All right, let's go, Jack. So yeah, I think I'm gonna get the Yeezys. And I should drop these boots off now. I need to drop these boots off. All right, let's go. Be right back, Nana. Don't do nothing funny. Came my breakfast. Just dropped Ethan off at school. And I'm dropping Ethan off. I pulled over for something. He says, Daddy, what are you doing? I said, Oh, you know, I just gotta pull over for a second. I'm gonna be late for school. I don't wanna be late. I said, All right, all right, all right. Slow down, Tiger. God, diddly D. I said, All right, all right, slow down, Tiger. Okay, okay. I like that, you know. Um, I remember when Ernest and Ashley was, you know, growing and um, when they started telling me stuff like that. Oh, come on, Dad, I don't want to be late. You know, when they're a little younger, they don't, they're not aware of that. Like, they're aware of it when they get a little older, you know. Especially, he takes the bus. But um, I drove him today. So, um, yeah, it bugged me out when he says, Dad. I don't want to be late. Why did you pull over? I can't be late. I said, okay, all right. I like that. Ethan is getting smart, man. Um, reminds me of his brother and sister. That was like, wow, like 30 years ago. <laughs> Come on, let's get it up here. Let's go. Oh, man. Today, we're talking about, uh, today we're talking about elevators. Elevators. Yeah, today, um, it's story time. I want to tell you about, uh, my duties as an elevator mechanic, fixing these things for 20 years. Um, I love my job. I was great at my job. You know, it's guys that tell, they tell you, oh yeah, I fixed elevators. And they was carrying rails for 20 years. I was a helper for 20 years. I came in the, industry, in the elevator industry already with my electrical background, so that helped me out. So I was my uncle's helper and um, This is a little ironic. Boo! 420. Jackie. So yeah, I was my uncle's helper. Turn these lights on. I was my uncle's helper, so um, my uncle did an emergency service. So that's what I learned. And um, that's one of the sharpest, the sharpest mechanic that any company has is they troubleshooters. And that's when my uncle was a troubleshooter. So I was his helper. So he was basically training me to be a troubleshooter um, because I came in with the electrical experience. I just needed help um, learning um, about elevator motors and stuff like that. But as far as the electric part, that helped me out, that helped me, um, how can I say it? it exceed or like um 
For example, it was people there for years before me. And um, I excelled like way faster. Let's say I'm in the company one year and they there for six years. I'm already at a position that's going to take them about 10 years to get to. And it's because I got lucky because my uncle was a troubleshooter. So that's what I learned, how to troubleshoot, how to get to uh, the elevator before the fire department gets there and they're going to break everything up. So we got an hour to get there. If we don't get there within one hour, fire department is coming and they're going to break the door. Then we got to shut it down. Let me open this lock. Jesus, how to just go through all this stuff just to get a pair of Yeezys, man. I got them. They're right there. Put the box back. What you got in here, buddy? I should take some Jordans, too. But I can't travel with all these sneakers. Um, You know. I don't want to travel with so much, so um, I got to go see uh, two real estate agents now, so I'm going to change, put on some khakis, uh, maybe put on my beige khakis or my olive, olive green khakis, and uh, yeah, go meet up with the uh, real estate. I, I can't, I don't know where I put my um, remote, but I want to fly my drone. I got uh, two. You don't know no Boricua without a machete, right? Yeah. I actually got this from Walmart. This thing is the best. I never seen a Puerto Rican without a machete. What kind of Boricua is that? No, nah. I love that though. I like, I love that uh, machete. I got it from Walmart. All right, let's get up out of here. Put this box back. I actually needed to bring some hats upstairs because um, I don't wear hoodies and hats anymore like I used to. I only wear green light. So all my hats and hoodies, I don't really need them. I'm not going to wear them. I'm only going to wear green light. All right, come on. I gotta bring some hats upstairs. So I only came for these. My zebras. I don't wear Yeezys really too much, but uh, what I have, if I have uh, my DJ Khaled, the green, the olive ones. Those boot, those Timberlands, DJ Khaled did a collab. His DJ Khaled, Timberland, and Champs the store champs. So Champs, Timberland, and DJ Khaled did a collab, and those are the boots that I have. I paid two something for those, and I bought a pair for my son also. I did a vlog about it. These, I don't really wear these, but I say, you know what? Um, go to Baltimore for a day or two, and um, let me take like five pair of sneakers. young I used to come here with my mother and uh, my stepfather my sister's father my name Vanessa's father it used to be a drive drive-in uh, movie theater right here called the white stone movie theater and uh, I remember he used to put his brother in the trunk because <laughs> I think it was like five dollars a person something like that <sighs> I remember uh, going to get the hot dogs and the hamburgers and they'll be wrapped in aluminum for you 
And um, everybody's just doing their thing, riding around, looking for a speaker that works. You gotta hang the speaker on your window. Y'all remember that? Just had breakfast. Dropped off uh, my BM. Dropped my son off at school. Now I have to go see the real estate agent. Have a doctor's appointment. I gotta get to Brooklyn in a little while. But um, let me see the real estate people, and then um, head to Brooklyn, and then. Uh, Head to Baltimore. Kick it. Let's go, Jack. Got to kick it like Bruce Lee. Today got to be a good day. So I got the Yeezys. I'm going to Baltimore. You know, you go to Baltimore, man. You got to shine a little. You can't. You can't be like, oh, he's from New York. Yeah. What you wearing? <laughs> My sister don't, um, my sister, my daughter don't like all that ghetto stuff. You know, she's like, Dad, what are you wearing? Are those Robins? Is that a BB belt? I'm like, Jesus, Ashley. So my kids don't like the BB belt, and I understand. All right, let me cut this guy off. I understand, absolutely. I don't want my father looking like a thug or a rapper. Wait. So yeah, guys. Um, it took me a while to get to, to that position, like where um, the new guys, for example, let me tell y'all. It was a group of guys, right? There was the conversion crew. Conversion crew is basically guys who put the elevators together. Right, and they got like three months to do that. So they at one spot. Hold on, let me get a credit card. So they at a debit card. I'm not doing credit. So um, hold on. This car is amazing. Look how much I spent. Six dollars, man. Six dollars. Gave my receipt. This was the van. Forget it. So what I basically do is I drive all day and the next day I fill it up and I'm doing that to both of my cars and I realize I get much better mileage for the full tank. Now the van, it's like maybe 20 to 30 a day. The Prius, you've seen it. Who's here? Oh. How you doing? The Prius, six dollars. Guys, I had to stop by and see my boy, Don. Yo, that's my my man right here, Double D. Yo, where? Coming at you like this. Yo. What it look like, a little cold. He got, he got something for uh, for Ethan, man. And he Yo, told this is me, family right here. That's right. This is family, my boy. I want the best for him and look his family. Uh, something thanks, small, Dom. earnest. That's I nice, haven't met man. your son, but yo, he's like family. Like Ashley, like your son. Oh, you earnest. saw them grow up. Ah oh, man. It's all good, Thanks, man. Thanks, Don. You know what I mean? So for just, for just Ethan. Little, yeah, just a little jest of love. I came to my man's job. He's at work right now. Yo, if I wasn't at work, I would be lighting up a digi. Wait, <laughs> cut! Let me say bye to my dog, Don. Camouflage, double D. Y'all may hit you in a little while, Don. Love you, my brother. Thank you for this, man. I really bye appreciate bye, bye, this. Bye, 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 You know, no matter where we at, the love for our our crew. That's right. Always is strong. That's we know right. people all over. I don't need a thousand people liking me. When I see motherfuckers in the street, they know what time it is That's when they it. know me. That's it. They know if they know me, they know what time it is. You know what I mean? Like you. Love you, my brother. Salute. Yes. I'll call you in a little while. Thank Yo, you, Don. Bro, call me. You always welcome. To I'll my see you Friday when I come back from Baltimore. Yo, to my side of town, you can always rest your head at my house. We family, Papa. Thank you, Don. To the end, my love you, my brother. I call you later. Thank to you. you.
Yeah. All right. I'm gonna put that shit on Facebook. Yeah. All right. All right, dog. She's my man, dog. Before we get into um, my job, let me tell you something about my man, Don. Yo, what you doing, bro? Yo, calm down. Mickey, get out of here, man. Phone posits in the sand. Oh. So let me tell you about my boy, Don, man. Um, we know each other from Staten Island. He's from Harlem. Good brother. Let me tell you something. Um, he been at that job like 30 years, right? He worked at the ferry for like 25 years. He had a problem with one of the supervisors. So they tried to make his life difficult and send him to Alaska, which was City Island. Staten Island, City Island's a long way. And guess what? He made lemonades out of lemon. He's doing better here than he was at the ferry. Um, he's with a nice group of guys there. If y'all don't know what that was, that's the ferry for Pottersfield. If uh, people get murdered in jail, whatever, um, the correction bus brings them there and the inmates buried them in Pottersfield, which is the island right across from where my boy is at. So yeah, man. Good brother Dom, man. That's my dog. Never switched up on me. He never changed. I mean, you gotta understand, my boys from Staten Island is different. We knew each other um, since our kids was, wow, babies. And they all grown. So shout out to my man Dom, man. Good brother. Great career. I don't know how he did it. He still got two jobs. I don't know why um, I never did that. Kept two jobs for a long period of time. But uh, he got two great jobs. Good brother. All right. Back to my job. Now, um, you know, once I wasn't working anymore, taking off the uniform and it's almost like um, when you have a great career and you're not doing it anymore, it's like you feel not as important as you was to family, to friends, to the public. You know, um, I tell you, I was a troubleshooter. So I have to talk to NYPD and the FDNY every day. When somebody's stuck, I have to tell them, give me some time. Let me get them out. Let me fix the elevator. Also, um, um, I have so much rank at my job that they didn't bother me. For example, remember I told you guys where my storage was? Uh, started telling you about the conversion guys. Conversion guys, they put the elevators together. They one, yo, what are you doing? Drinking water. What are you doing, man? Come on. Now, Lucia. So, yeah, guys. Um, the conversion guys, make a long story short, they're supposed to be, let's say, fixing the elevator, putting it together for three months. I'm a troubleshooter. I just fix elevators that are broke. And if it's nothing broke, I just check my buildings. I have a book and I have 300 buildings between um, the five boroughs and uh, Newark, New Jersey. That's what I had. So uh, the conversion guys got caught in the Whitestone movie theater, a group of them. It was like maybe five of them. So um, they call those guys every day. Me, I see my boss once a week when I come get my check on Fridays. And sometimes they used to bring my check out to me in Far Rockaway, because I had like uh, 38 buildings. I took care of Wave, Wave Crest Gardens on Seeger, like on Beach 25. 38 buildings by myself, basically like a little co-op city. <clears throat> and because of my rank, they didn't bother me. Um, I call, I'm coming in, and that's it. I'm punching out, I'll see y'all tomorrow, and that's it. And I only see them on Fridays, 
Monday I go in, I come to the Bronx, get whatever I need. Friday I come back to the Bronx and get my check. And that was it. Um, they didn't bother me like they did with the young guys. The young guys, they call them all, all day. And me, I have a book. If there's no shutdowns, um, if there's nothing sh shut down, I have a book, a monthly service. So I just call my boss, for example. My mother says, oh, your sisters are acting up. I need you to come over here. I'll tell my boss I got to take care of some elevators in the Bronx just to... Um, if I can have a little time to go see my sisters when they get home from school, I'll be there. And yeah, my mother's like, no, nah, they're, they're out of hand. And so, um, you know, every day I call my boss. So today I'm going to Brooklyn. Today I'm going to the Bronx. Today I'm going to Harlem. And they say, all right, if we need you, we'll call you. And that's the job I had. I make my own hours, my own schedule, um, my own expenses. And yeah, I missed that job. I used to work from six to two, make $1,500 a week. When I lost that job, it was like my life changed. I lost my ex-wife and my kids. Um, wow, well, and at that time, I lost my father's mother, and then I lost my mother, and then I lost my job. It was rough, but I missed my job. Right now, I would have been at 150 an hour. I was good. I was, I was good. I could fix an elevator that's 100 years old, or I could fix an elevator that's up to date. Um, yeah, I could start any elevator. It's amazing. Come on, let's get back to the car. Come on, now. Put your $2 ass over here. Let's go. All right, let's go. Come on, man. All right, let me finish the vlog. I think that water got her sick. You see, Nana? I told you. You want to drink Ultra Beach salt water. There you go. All right, guys. Sorry, this is a long vlog, but um, let me end it here. I'm going to see you guys in a little while. I got to go to BK, and then um, we're going to get ready to hit the road. Let's go to Baltimore. Yeah, guys. Um, miss my job, man. I missed the money. I missed the job. I love what I did. And like I said, um, it's depressing enough losing a job. And you don't feel as important as you did when you had that job. For example, if you was uh, in law enforcement, a police officer, you know, you wear that uniform, let's say, for 30 years, the day you take it off, you feel, um, I shouldn't say it like this, but you feel less of a man, you know? On my uniform, people see me, oh, you're gonna fix the elevator grade and this and that, everybody knows me. Without my uniform, people don't recognize me. Um, yeah, I miss my job. I have my book with all my buildings. All the supers know me. Um, yeah, great career. So if you have a great job, keep it. You know, um, a good job is hard to find. It's like trying to find a good woman. You just don't get too many of those opportunities. Um, you might find one good woman, you might find two. But, um, Nana, they're over there. Leave those dogs alone. Come on, man. Get a grip. Yeah, guys. If you got a good woman, keep her. You got a good job, keep it. Life is too short, and sometimes you don't get a second chance. Love you guys. I'll see you in a little while. Let's, uh, let's hit the road. Um, I'll see you in BK, and then uh, we're going to get ready to go to Baltimore. I'll see you in a little while. Love you. If you'd like to donate to the channel, NY City Slickers on Cash App, Money Order. P.O. Box 385, Bronx, New York, 10465. New merch coming next week. These are the polo hats. I'm getting now the um, snapbacks. Yeah, getting snapbacks next week and some other stuff. Peace.
Shazam! Later. I had to give some shout-outs, man. I forget. I'll give it to y'all later. All right.